I'm currently driving to pick up a car and trailer to drive to Milwaukee and pick up a new Touareg. What's really cool about this, it's the Touareg I'm buying from one of my subscribers. One of you guys has reached out to me and said that, hey, like I noticed you need a motor for the Touareg. I have one. I'm excited to meet a subscriber and I'm excited to finally have something to put into my Touareg. A friend of mine and his dad were nice enough to let me borrow uh, their expedition, Ford Expedition. Uh, there's not a whole lot squad right now because obviously the trailer is empty. But we do have a bit of a tilt in the trailer, more than I would have preferred. Alright, should be right around this corner. Yeah, that's it. That's her. Since this Touareg is uh, taking up the lift, I can't really get this one on there to pull the motor and I don't want to deal with taking the motor off the subframe and putting that on so that this thing is rollable. It would be a lot. So I think what I'm going to do is just put it right here and pull the motor out of that only on jack stands without the lift. And this here is a Phaeton motor that I was thinking about using, but that is not going to work out because the Phaeton engine is a little too different from the Turex. She hasn't stretched her legs in a long while. Oh yeah! Should be free. Sorry, I do have a bit of sore throat, so if I sound weird, that's why. And not because I'm going through puberty. So at first when I was getting this, I was like, huh, maybe I'll have this beater body. Uh, I'll technically have a motor, that motor that I can potentially restore after doing some rod bearings. And maybe it would be good for a few tens of thousands of miles, but uh, after seeing how bad this body is and how much of the interior is missing, maybe not. Air suspension, not doing so great. The back looks pretty nice, actually. Clear coat and paint peeling over here. But yeah, the tires are actually pretty nice. But it actually looks really dry. Like, I don't see much oil compared to how bad mine was. Oh, and look at that, it also has a broken coolant drain plug. That's exactly what happened on mine when I tried to take that off. Let's try and get her off without uh, destroying things. Okay, we got some movement. Okay, we're rolling. Oh, for the back. The scariest part of this is done. Speaking in physics and engineering terms, at least now we have no potential energy. So everything else from this point on is going to be dependent on how much I push it. So I think I should be able to control it. so here she is uh, I don't even know what year it is I assume it's an 04 might not be this is a v8 with air suspension just like mine in general it's pretty basically the same thing it's the same spec it is missing the roof rails the previous owner I think he bought it he used it for parts sold some parts and basically then just needed to get rid of it so we got them with the window shades theoretically we have a perfectly good motor it did have uh, the timing belt changed not too long ago, but we are going to need to do the chains. I might just take them out of this engine because this is pretty new. As you can see, these tensioners are in pretty good shape. They were replaced by the previous owner. The previous owner messed up the timing job. I fixed it, and then I found out that it also has oil pressure issues. We're going to pull this motor, uh, swap the chains, and put it into that. As simple as that. I got to go and return that truck and trailer. Only the finest here at the Euros of A, uh, which is my dealership. Very, very tiny dealership, but we do have coffee. The reason why I'm using a 
KFC Cub is because I used to work at a German Johns a long time ago, and we got a box of these delivered, or multiple boxes of these delivered uh, to the store. So they were kind of up for grabs because apparently KFC didn't want to take them back, and I don't know. So basically, I have a lot of these, and I come up with all kinds of uses for them. They're more useful than you think, such as mic holder. Not my choice of coffee, but that's uh, just whatever we had at the house. So here's the plan. Uh, we're gonna try and pull this engine uh, without the lift because the lift is occupied and it will be way too much work for me to make that tour rollable and uh, to get it off the lift and then put this one in. Just not worth the trouble. I think it will be easiest to just pull this uh, on jack stands. I will most likely really regret this decision later, but um, at the moment, this seems like the best idea. Luckily, the bumper is already missing, uh, or it's already taken off the car, so I'm not gonna have to do that. I, for some reason, I always hate taking off bumpers. I don't know why, am I, am I the only one? I just always avoid taking off a bumper at all costs. No idea why. Because these hood struts are in bad shape, and I have had this hood slam down on its own when I was checking out the car, uh, I definitely don't want that happening when I'm working in here, so I'm gonna take it off completely. That's gonna free up some room. I started taking these off, but I honestly don't see any reason why I should, so we're just gonna snip it. I promise, usually I would have been more careful with this, but. But this car is gonna end up at a junkyard, so we don't really have to worry about being too nice to it. Ta-da! Luckily for me, the uh, wiper arms were already gone. I guess the previous owner sold them because very frequently the wiper arms get really, really seized onto the wiper linkage and you have a hell of a time taking them off. The air boxes are also gone. All right, let's move on to taking off the front end. Okay, well, the good news is that we have a timing, a very, very loose timing belt. Oh no. Okay, so there's a bit of an issue. I decided to uh, take the timing covers off just for, uh, you know, just for a peace of mind to see what the belt is like. And while the water pump and the belt tensioner do look new, we have quite a lot of timing belt play, a lot. Not entirely sure what that means yet, but it's definitely very concerning. I really, really, really hope that this motor has not skipped time. That would be very disappointing. The previous owner did say that he um, has driven this thing. Anyway, I guess we're just gonna worry about this after we pull the motor out. Mm -hmm. 